Well, Clinton scouts on the western leg of Pro Farmer Crop Tour this year knew that they would see signs of stress as well as dryness. But day one of the crop tour for the West can be summed up in one word, according to scouts. Disappointing. And this corn crop, I think, has felt a lot of stress from day one. Chip Flory has been on the Pro Farmer Crop Tour for 30 years. When you come up here and you get into a, an area where the planting date wasn't anything spectacular, it was a little bit late, and we've got corn that is denting, it, it means that it's been pushed. And this year, Southeast South Dakota shows a corn crop that struggled from the start. And then the heat that we had during pollination is showing up in some of the ears that we've sampled because of some shotgun pollination, um, not getting pollinated on the butt of the ear or on the tip of the ear. He says this crop was also stressed post pollination with scouts seeing small kernels that will take a bite out of South Dakota's final yield in areas. So 100 bushel corn yield calculated might end up being 85 or an 80 because of a reduced kernel size. So it's uh, it's it's a crop that has experienced several stress periods in the in the 22 growing season. As Flory's route traveled south of Sioux Falls and into Nebraska, it produced an average South Dakota yield of below 100 bushels per acre for corn. We're in the early dent, maybe even mid dent stage on the samples that I've seen. We shouldn't be there. We should be in the, the mid to late dough on this crop, but it's been pushed post pollination. Soybeans that seem to show more potential. Well, the good news out of South Dakota is that there's a bean crop up here. The bad news is maybe it's not as spiffy as what we would like to see. But late planting combined with some heat stress means South Dakota's soybean crop is also far from perfect. Now, Clinton, similar issues are showing up as scouts are getting into Nebraska. So as they trek through those fields and dig deeper into Nebraska's crop, we will have a first hand look at that tomorrow morning on Ag Day.